The next system we'll be reviewing is the clock system model. This is a very important concept and in the modern computing system it has a very very important role. Okay, so be careful to go through this, these uh, set of slides to understand uh, the computing system better. Okay. All right, so uh, let's say we have, um, we already know about this ALU, right? Now, the point you need to understand, in ALU, since it is a physical component, it's an electrical, electrical system, it does not produce result as soon as you pro provide it with two operands and operation. Okay, there is certain gap in time. It's, we call it delay. Certain delay in time before which it can compute a result. So it takes some time. Okay, though from the human perspective, uh, uh, it it seems like it, it's instantaneous. Okay, you in the electronic component, if you ever uh, came across an ALU and even slowest ALU you, you can build up with just very, very macro components. Uh, you'll, you'll find that as if it is it is computing the result very instantaneously. There is no delay. It, it will appear to you. But the delay is at the at the microsecond or even even at the nanosecond delay in, in modern modern computing uh, subsystem as ALU. And that that amount of delay is not perceptible uh, by human, okay, perceivable by human, okay. Uh, so, just to give you an idea, like one nanosecond is 10 to the power minus 9 second, okay, 10 to the power minus 9 second, one microsecond even 10 to the power minus 6 second. So, even if you imagine your, your, ALU is computing result in the microsecond range, like one microsecond or two microsecond. As a human, you won't be able to detect that delay. Okay, it, to you, it will be it, it it will appear that it instantaneously generated the result. But the point is, there is a delay. Okay, so it involves some amount of delay, and delays can be represented in a timing diagram. So this is another component that you need to understand very carefully okay what is a timing diagram a timing diagram uh, is basically shows you the relation between temporal relation between different signal temporal means like with respect to time like how the signal changes its value with respect to uh, with respect to the uh, to the time okay so for that the vertical line we draw is basically a time point all right maybe just for your understanding right now say this is six o'clock this is t2 is 6 01 p.m something like that so they are different point in time okay we draw a vertical line and then represent a signal change like if it is a group of signal we draw it like a trapezoid so this means like the op1 was at some certain values and at time point t1 it changes to value op1 some values right 4 5 16 whatever you want to say but it changed the value and it also changed its value at time point 2 okay similarly for oper operand 2 also it changes the time uh, value at time t1 and changes again the value at time t2 Similar for the operation code, it changed the value at T1 and changed the value at T2. Say for example, during this time, T1, T2, between this time, let's say OP1 was 10, for example, OP2 was 5, for example, and you gave an operation code of addition. So you expect that result value will become 10 uh, plus 5. That's what I said, right? This is 10, this is 5. So, the result will be 15. Now, with the previous uh, values or operand 1, operand 2, before time t1, it gave some result, right? Something else we don't know, okay? 
the point is that you represent you present this op1 op2 and operation code at time point t1 the result from the alu does not change at the time t1 but it takes some amount of time between t1 and t2 hopefully and then change the value so this is your delay when you present your operant operation or or you can say request your operation to the alu after delay amount da from t1 you get the result so your ta is equals t1 plus da okay that delay so this is the time point when you are getting the result now the interesting point is this this alu is an electronic component right and people or our engineers try to enhance its performance so that it can compute it faster means it decrease the delay between when you present the operations and when you get the result it tries to always try to decrease the delay and that's why it can vary this delay can vary from one implementation to another maybe you had a slower version now some engineer came in optimize the performance and it has a as a as a faster uh, faster response now for example right so maybe next revision version 1 gave you result at this point version 2 gave earlier the result value it can produce earlier now you can ask like why is this a problem because you're faster faster is good fine right but the point is some subsystem is providing this operation right so it is not you it is not human who is providing these operations and opcode and all this stuff right it's some some other electronic system is providing this and this result is not being used by human ultimately it will be consumed in some some form as a human like a display of the result or something some other form but point is that immediately this consumption of this result is not by the human it it is another electronic subsystem now with respect to the rest of the world compared to this this alu how the rest of the world knows when this alu is done with the computation right one revision it is this you just plug in another new revision of alu now it is giving result earlier okay worst case you plug in a new revision which gives a result later like for some reason it's it's a slower implementation so there is an uncertainty of the rest of the subsystem than alu then when to pick up the result okay that's the problem we're trying to solve here okay so this is this is what we are we are we are showing like rest of the computing system is providing its input and how does it know when it is when the result is coming back okay and not only with the revision it the delay changes the more interesting thing is that with the operate conditions like a, like a physical weather condition I'm talking of like in temperature or humidity even right this delay varies a little bit okay there is there is there is a there is a obviously an upper and lower bound of that variation but it varies okay even for a same revision even if you don't change the ALU it's the same ALU will produce result in little bit different time point depending on which weather condition it is operating is it a very hot day or cold day is it a very humid day or very dry day and stuff like that these are all electronic physical system it has an an an, an dependency on its ambient uh, ambient temperature ambient pressure ambient humidity and so on and so forth so rest of the computing system need to know when should it pick up the result at which alu guarantees to produce a right result for you okay so that's the difference 
a clock system provides to the whole system. So what clock system provides is, is this, okay? So let me uh, go back a little bit more. Um, so a clock system, okay, a clock system is a system which produces a continuously changing, uh, a continuously changing value signal. 